Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another Gore's Trailer Reaction. And this one is for The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. Now, if you don't remember a couple years ago, uh, The Woman in Black came out, which was a movie made by Hammer, the classic horror studio that made a lot of the classic uh, horror films. But uh, they came back, they made The, the Woman in Black uh, with Daniel Radcliffe, of course, Harry Potter. And it was a, a very, I thought it was a very good horror film with some good acting and uh, a, a couple of really good scary moments with some really, really good set design, I thought. I thought the atmosphere was really good. So they're making a sequel. I'm not sure if it's coming out on DVD only or is it actually coming out in theaters. It was even it was kind of hard just to find this trailer online. Like I can only find two sources for this trailer on YouTube, which is surprising considering it's a sequel to a movie that did pretty damn good for the most part. So let us watch this. It's only 50 seconds long, so it's not gonna be a very long gorgeous trailer reaction. But let's watch this. Hammer. Okay, creepy, creepy stairs. Oh, darkness. Oh, lights went out. She never forgives. Okay. She never forgets. Loud noises, loud noises. Darkness. Quiet. She never left. Oh. The rocking chair with no one in it. Who's rocking it? I don't know. That was this. Creepy stuff. And then... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's so cheap. Anyway, there you go. That was it, okay? For people that don't even want to look it up and just want me to explain it, here it is. It's a person walking around in a dark room looking at dark stuff. Okay, just start it up again. Um, looking at dark stuff. Just you know, It's a dark room. Just looking at stuff like a doll and stuff. There's a rocking chair that moves back and forth. Uh, and then at the end... Uh, someone turns around, and then boom, uh, face of a ghost lady pops up, and of course that's the woman in black. Uh, I really like the first one. That was a short teaser. I can't really comment too much on it, but it looks like it has the same atmosphere. It looks like it has the same kind of, uh, uh I don't know what I should say, uh, look, the gothic feel like the original had. Uh, I can't tell if it's supposed to be set back in, like, I think... Uh, the first movie was either the early 1900s or late 1800s. This one looks like it might be moving forward, it looks like. I can't really tell, but the main character, I guess the main character, I'm not sure. The guy that was we were following, or the girl, I can't even tell. But uh, it looks like he was like wearing regular clothes. I, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't tell, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. It, look, it, looks, it looks good. It looks like it could be a, little, uh, a good scare. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be great. But it looks decent. I'm going to give that trailer, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, only because it didn't show too much. I know it's a teaser, and it's also kind of generic. Just like Annabelle's trailer that I just reviewed. Kind of two generic looking horror films, but it could be good, especially since both uh, uh, Annabelle and this movie had really good predecessors. So, a little bit, you know, The Conjuring was a little bit better, but still, I thought The Woman in Black was pretty good. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, I 6 out of 10, it looks, it looks like it could be good. I'm not sure, you know, <laughs> who knows, 50 seconds of a trailer that showed almost nothing, most of it was just text, so I can't really tell you, but uh, still, I'm going to review that trailer, and I gave it a 6 out of 10, it's okay, go look it up if you want, so anyway, there you go, there's my uh, Gore's trailer reactions for both Annabelle, which I didn't review in this tra uh, video, so I don't know why I'm talking about it, and, and of course, The Woman in Black 2, uh, Angel of Death, so there you go, thank you, and goodbye.